All right, guys, Tuesday afternoon, back in the garage, and uh, back to cleaning and painting mode on the uh, newly shortened drive shaft. So uh, we're just going to uh, clean this down with some brake cleaner. We're going to give it scrub down with a uh, red scotch bright, and then we're going to get a quick coat of paint to get this ready to go back on the car. While that's drying, and that's going to take quite a bit of time to dry since it's so cold in the garage, we'll give it a little bit of a help with a uh, heat gun, but uh, while that's drying overnight, we will take the old drive shaft off the car and put that away somewhere safely. So uh, that's what the plan is for now, and then we'll move on to something else after we get this scrubbed down and painted. All right, quick update. So we've removed the uh, stock drive shaft, and we've painted the shortened drive shaft. We just got it setting up over here, and we'll let that dry overnight. There's the old non-shortened shaft so we'll use that uh, if we ever decide to go back to a stock differential or if I need that for my TR6 for example I can always throw that in there so not necessarily a bad thing to have a spare or two for that matter so the next thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna work on relocating the car so I can get to the rear end a little bit easier and uh, we're gonna work on uh, detaching the Sliding axles back here. I've only got it bolted up uh, with two bolts per side. As I'd mentioned, I was thought, uh, thought about earlier about removing this uh, differential so it didn't bolt it up fully, fully. So uh, that's the next thing we need to do is to drop that. I can actually see I got a pretty good pinion seal leak going on. Remember I mentioned that the seals needed to be changed in this diff and just from having it here with gear oil in it, it's actually leaking pretty substantially out of the pinion seal. So another good reason to uh, change this diff out. Uh, last thing I'm going to do before I install this differential, the Nissan R200B, is I definitely want to get that scrubbed down and painted and looking a little bit better before it's ready to go in the car. So that'll be another part of the process, but that's not going to happen today. All right, guys, Wednesday night, and I uh, made a pickup at the mailbox today or this afternoon so uh, we're just about to unpack the parts we'll go with the uh, least exciting package for my viewers out there we'll start with the the worst last so I know what this is and uh, as mentioned it's not going to be uh, of any excitement to most of you Let's see if I got you in frame here yeah so this is just a used TR7, shop manual, the Bentley, don't have this, so uh, we'll put this to good use once we start working on the TR8. A lot of the uh, components obviously for the TR7 are the same as the TR8, although I have a TR8 manual as well. I didn't have the Bentley manual, so I uh, found this on, uh, I think it was on Facebook Marketplace, I think for 15 bucks, so I thought I would pick it up. It's actually cheaper than the actual uh, new price from uh, who knows how many years ago. Anyway, so uh, complete TR7 manual, 75 to 78. So just put that out of the way, and we'll dig that out in a couple years' time once we start restoring the uh, TR8, the 81 TR8. All right, the most important box uh, of the batch arrived at the mailbox was the good parts uh, installation kit for the R200B. Nissan differential conversion. So this is one expensive box. If you go back and have a look at my uh, detailed uh, costing, I think this is probably about a thousand dollars in this box. Once you figure out, like I mentioned, the exchange and the uh, shipping, I believe it was eight hundred and something dollars uh, delivered to my mailbox in uh, Niagara Falls, U.S. And then of course I had to pay taxes and duty and shipping across to my Canadian mailbox so didn't much to see in here um, I will break the kit down into its components but it has arrived and uh, guaranteed it's beautiful Richard Good does some really nice quality parts really nicely packed there's the instructions there maybe I'll take those in the house tonight and have a read through those just to get familiar with it so I think that's probably what all we're gonna do tonight is just uh, go through the actual uh, components of this kit. Anyway, we'll uh, unpack this box a little more uh, further. It's pretty extensive. Another three or four packaged parts in there. So we'll lay that out on the table tomorrow in greater detail. But just wanted to let you know that it arrived. 
All right, and then a couple smaller boxes. This is from Moss Motors. And I know what this is. This is going to help me. This is the exhaust manifold, or exhaust and intake manifold gaskets. I think I ordered three of them just to have some backups. Who knows that uh, those carburetors might come off and on the car a few times, and uh, who knows about the exhaust it might come off as well. So made sure we had some backups. So there are the gaskets. Hopefully they are for the uh, TR250. We've had some discussions in the past about uh, these getting easily mixed up as far as the port sizing is concerned on the intake manifold. So hopefully those are the correct ones. Uh, what else did we get here? Small bag of uh, little bits here. I know they had back ordered some parts. It's in another separate envelope. Oh, this is just a drain plug for uh, the drain tap. The, the petcock that's on the side of the block is leaking. Uh, I was going to order a new one. I've actually tried to uh, fix the one that was leaking on the car and that didn't actually work out too well. So I've just actually got a drain plug and a uh, fiber washer for that just to block that off temporarily until I can get a new petcock. So uh, anyway, that's there. Uh, we got a new uh, 250 TR6 catalog from Moss Motors. So we'll have a look through that and figure out how many more thousands of dollars I need to spend on the car. All right, so there's that box. Not too much to that one, eh? And then the back ordered package. I have a feeling I know what this is. I sometimes recall what's in these because I know I'm waiting for the stuff. So sometimes it's a bit of a surprise. So a package within a package. Let's see what we got here. This again is going to be something for the exhaust and uh, something for the heater box actually. So another package within a package. Holy cow. Alright, that's it. That's all. I don't think there's anything else. Make sure there's nothing packed in these uh, little bits of paper. So all this is are some uh, Trunnion uh, cable stops, I think they're called. Uh, these are used on the heater box and for the um, heater valve uh, for the cable, the cable stops. So i uh, just got a couple of those standing by. And I wanted to pick up some uh, stainless steel clamps. These are made by Michaelor, I believe. Um, they're specifically, they're hard to find band clamps. So these are sort of narrow band clamps for the exhaust, and that's going to be for the uh, the front uh, section to the mid-pipe um, connection. So we've got some stainless clamps for that. Um, they are, again, specialty clamps because they're hard to find the size for the stock pipes. I think they're inch and seven-eighths off the top of my head. So just a couple of clamps for that. So that's it for uh, unboxing. And like I said, I'm going to grab the... Uh, Instructions from the TR uh, for the good parts uh, installation kit, differential installation kit, and we'll uh, read those tonight and we'll get back out of here tomorrow. Hockey game's on, so we're going to go inside and enjoy that. All right, guys, now Thursday afternoon, and we're trying to get all our ducks in a row before we uh, go ahead and get the Nissan R200B differential installed, and that means getting this scrubbed down and painted. I'm not going to put it in in the state it's in. Um, so I want to actually clean it up, wire brush it, and uh, repaint it just to get, make it look a little better before it goes back in the car. The other thing I need to paint is the uh, rear exhaust section, so the uh, ANSA exhaust. I wanted to paint flat black. I have ordered some paint, but uh, we're under lockdown up here, so it's a curbside pickup only. So uh, we're in the process of waiting for that, to uh, waiting for an email basically for us to tell us that we can go and pick it up. So uh, we'll wait until that happens before we can do the exhaust, but at least we can get the differential painted with some of the paints here I have at home. So we're going to do that. I did read through the installation instructions for the uh, Good Parts uh, mounting kit for the uh, Nissan differential. And there's a few things that we need to do um, in order to make that fit properly, uh, like moving some of the brake lines around, uh, compressing this rear um, t-shirt section here for clearance of the drive shaft 
There's a few other things that need to happen as well that I'll uh, cover when I go through the actual installation part of this uh, series. Alright guys, mark another thing off the list. The uh, differential is now painted and we'll let that sit now probably for at least a day. It is pretty cool out in the garage. I did use my heat gun a bit to cure that as best I could, but uh, We'll probably leave it sit at least until the weekend. At least we'll have a chance of uh, not marking it up too badly and stripping the paint off when we go to install this. So, uh, yeah, we'll leave that sit there for a day or two, and we'll get back here probably on Saturday, and uh, we'll get ready to install it. I did clean the mating surfaces for the new gasket before I painted it, so that's done. Um, so we'll move on to something else in the meantime. Still have to uninstall the old differential, so... That will probably be the next thing that we do. All right, guys, we managed to pick up our uh, flat black VHT uh, high heat paint. So we're just getting ready to uh, put a fresh coat of paint on the uh, ANSA exhaust. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape that sticker off. We'll tape the tips off. We'll scratch this down with a uh, Scotch-Brite. Clean it with uh, grease and wax remover. And uh, we'll hit it with a nice coat of that flat black paint just to get these looking a little bit better and ready to put back on the car. All right guys, Friday night after work and back out in the cold garage to uh, have a look at the exhaust from yesterday. Just put the finishing touches on it. We actually added the stickers back on. Don't ask me why, but anyway, I peeled them off yesterday with a heat gun and we've just reapplied them uh, this afternoon. And uh, you'll never see them again. Once the exhaust is on the car, these are on the top side. Uh, they'll probably end up burning off anyway, but. I don't know, I somehow felt the need to put them back on there. They look good right now, but like I said, you'll never see them again uh, once they're back on the car. So, those look good, look brand new with that new uh, flat black uh, VHT high heat paint. So we're good to go there. Um, and as you've seen previously, the differential is painted. I think I did that two days ago now and it's dried up uh, quite nicely. So that looks nice and clean, nice and tidy. And uh, the cover is down there, we polished that previously. We've got our shortened drive shaft there painted and ready to go. So all the bits are painted for the most part. So now what we need to do is uh, we need to go back and think about dropping the stock differential out of the car. In order to do that, I need to do a little rejigging of things in the garage, move the frame forward so we can get a little bit more access towards the rear of the frame. And we'll probably end up putting it back up on the stands again. So probably not going to get to that tonight. It's actually quite cold out in the garage. We're supposed to get quite a snowstorm, but... Uh, that's been downgraded, which is a good thing. Although the next uh, week or so, it looks like overnight temperatures are around minus 15, minus 16, and probably closer to minus 20 with the wind chill. So it's going to be awfully cold out, out here in the garage. So who knows how much I'll be able to spend time out here. We'll get the uh, heaters blazing out here. But uh, anyway, I think that's it for tonight out here. Just uh, wanted to do that really quickly, and we'll let it dry for another day before we get serious and start working on that uh, differential conversion. Alright guys, that's it for now.